Greetings to all of you from here at St. Francis of Assisi. Today we gather our prayers this Sunday on the Solemnity of the Body and Blood of Christ, otherwise known as the Feast of Corpus Christi. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeys in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and to your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one. We, though many, are one body for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, how can this man give us this flesh, his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father. So also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So looking back on the feast days that we've been celebrating on Sundays up until now, I think uh, they have been very providential in these current times that we've been living in to help us navigate and respond to uh, the current difficulties that we're going through. And so today we are now celebrating the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. And how appropriate do we celebrate this feast today as we begin to open up our churches, as we begin to make available the very body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. So it's, again, very appropriate as we all have been missing that very presence of God in our life in the sacraments and in the sacrament of the Eucharist. It is in that bread and that wine that is a very powerful manifestation of God's desire to pour out his life into ours. It's not simply a gesture, a reminder, or a symbol. It is a, a literal reality of God giving his life to us, offering us to share in his divine life. And it is in that beautiful reality that the church was built in the first place, that all the disciples and apostles gathered around that breaking of bread. And it's through that breaking of bread that they were compelled to evangelize and spread the good news to the world. And that same very reason that we yearn to gather today, that Eucharist brings us together in community. And I know we've all been hearing to experience not only the presence of Christ, but the very presence of our, our brothers and sisters whom we share our same faith. That is why I was, so, I was so joyful to be able to celebrate the Eucharist for the first time, not to, to some empty pews, not to an empty church, not to a, a, a camera, but a church filled with people who are ready to receive our Lord and the Blessed Sacrament. I didn't become ordained to, to preach and offer the Eucharist to uh, a camera, to a virtual audience. And I know that's been very meaningful to everyone to be able to stay connected through these technological means. But I think we all know it can never replace that physical and true presence of Christ in the Eucharist, it can never replace that true and physical presence of our brothers and sisters, our family, whom we come together to pray together with. It's such a powerful and beautiful reality that we all participate in. We're all gathered 
on this journey through this Eucharist that gives us that sustenance to travel through this journey of life as we look forward to the kingdom of heaven. And another important aspect that we shouldn't forget about what's so powerful about the Eucharist is what we read about in our second reading today from the words of St. Paul. He says, brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because a loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body, for we all partake of one loaf. So the beauty of the sacrament of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ, is also about transformation through that life-giving presence. We all come together in unity and form the very body of Christ. And I think that's an important to note and as we continue to face different struggles out in the world today, from this virus to, to prejudice, division, and, and racism. We are called to be the very thing that we consume. What we eat, we become. Just as Christ became food for us, we are called to be food for the world. We are called also to be the very body and blood of Christ to all those who are suffering in the world, to be an image of hope, an image of unity, an image of God's love. We are all in desperate need of that very presence. We need to manifest that in our own lives and now that we're able to receive that sacrament, to receive our Lord, it reminds us that we're not just about our own community and coming together for that familiarity, and that's important, but we're all also called to bring that love to the world. So let us continue to offer our praise and thanksgiving to be able to receive our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, but also pray for that strength and, and purpose to transform the world as well. Let us now come before our Heavenly Father and, and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith and confidence in our Almighty Father, we also offer our prayers and petitions. We pray for all our spiritual leaders of the church, for Pope Francis, uh, Cardinal Supage, for all bishops, priests, deacons, and ministers of the church. May they continue to shepherd our flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those uh, who are of secular authority on local and national levels. They may find ways to be able to cooperate with those they're, they are an authority of to find peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. 
And we pray for all our local communities of faith, our local community of St. Francis of Assisi, that we may continue to stay connected through our faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering illness or injury, uh, especially those who are suffering from the virus. May they find a healing presence in the presence of, of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have passed away, especially our loved ones. May they find peace in the arms of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions and prayers that we hold within the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may offer our thanksgiving in the, the beauty of the, the Eucharist, and that we may become what we eat, that we too may become the body of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Praise and glory of his name, for we are good and the good of all this holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery and the offerings we, are, we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished Lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art Father, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tollis peccata mundi, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In celebration of the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, celebration of God's presence and the Eucharist, we'll have a brief moment of expo exposition and uh, benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord, our God, teach us to cherish in our hearts 
the paschal mystery of your Son, by which you redeemed the world. Watch over the gifts of grace your love has given us and bring them to fulfillment in the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 